Look, I'm not your mom. I'm not here to tell you how to spend your money. One of the biggest complaints we get as real estate professionals is people complaining that they can't afford their home or they can't afford to get into the housing market. Well, let me share with you why not everybody falls into that, but a lot of people do. So we live in a world right now of instant gratification. People, you know, you can swipe right, you can buy something on Amazon, you can uh, call Uber anytime you want, you Uber eat, skip the dishes. All of these things are made for our convenience. I totally get that. But at the same time, we gotta keep in mind, all of these things cost money, all of these luxuries, these impulsive purchases, they all cost money. This instant gratification world that we live in right now is a multi-billion dollar business. So let's talk about that a little bit. So Starbucks, you know what? Some people go to Starbucks, they'll spend $6 and they'll go there twice in one day sometimes. Uh, you know, we talked about Amazon, people swiping right and they can purchase something and it just shows up at their doorstep. Skip the dishes. You know what, you want food, you just click something, it shows up at your door, you're paying a delivery fee, you're paying a skip the dishes fee, the tip. Dude, like all of this stuff, like I said, it just adds up. The other thing is Uber, dude, just call somebody. Hitch a ride with a buddy. You know, these things will continue to add up and they will continue to chew into your, uh, your, your, ex your extra monthly earnings. Let's look at a $400,000 mortgage, okay? 400,000 to 450,000. There's a $50,000 difference there. That $50,000 difference on a $450 versus a $400,000 mortgage is $250 per month. Where can you eliminate $250 a month out of your budget? Like where can you actually make some cuts? Now, there's tons of places where you can do that. I just listed a few above, but if you can do that, then all of a sudden, now you're not living house poor. Now all of a sudden you can start collecting savings to start getting into the housing market. So people aren't always blaming the housing market. Quite often they have to look at their own lifestyles. So many people are living these insta lifestyles or people that have impulsive spending problems that we talked about. Like dude, sometimes we just gotta look in the mirror, man, and cut back a little bit. Look, I'm not your mom. I'm not here to tell you how to spend your money. I'm here to share with you my love for real estate. I love what I do. I want everybody in the world to own a home. I want everybody in the world to love their home. So I want everybody to share in the same passion that I do about this industry. You know what, if you're good with your money, kudos to you, keep it up, man. But if you got some value out of this, then if you can put aside a couple of hundred bucks a month, put that towards your mortgage. Or if you have the ability to come up with an extra couple of hundred bucks a month, you may even wanna change your mortgage from monthly to, to bi-weekly. That way you can pay your mortgage off faster. Now, like I said, some people are great with the money, other people aren't. If I can help someone that needs a little bit of help, if I can just touch one person, make that one person's life a little bit better and uh, just make their day a little bit better, that's a win in my book. All right guys, hopefully that helps.